Hi, in the series of linear systems, we have another problem for you. And this time, it is on investment, okay, finding interest, correct? So, as I said earlier, we need to read the problems very carefully. Write down our equations and then try to solve them. And what is a linear system? Linear system is a system where we have more than one linear equation, correct? More than one. So that means we are expected to have more than one variable, right? And to solve for them. So, so as we did earlier, we'll try to read the problems and make a sketch or diagram or visualize it, define our variables and solve the equation. First, I will read out both the questions to you. You can make a note of these questions, stop the video, try to solve them yourself, okay? And then check your answer. Here are the problems. Uday invested in a term deposit that paid 4% interest per annum and in a municipal bond that paid 6% per annum. If he invested a total of $13,000 and earned $700 interest in a year, how much did he invest at each rate? Well, let's try to understand. Read it again. Uday invested in a term deposit that paid 4% interest per annum and in a municipal bond that paid 6% per annum. That means he invested in two places. Correct. And if he invested a total of $13,000 and a total of this much in a year, how much did he invest at each? So basically he started with $13,000. So we'll say, let's say you start with $13,000. So this is our $13,000, right? And this investment is made in two places. One is here and the other one is here. Now here, how much are the investments? Let's say, first let's take interest rate. So here the interest rate is 6%. 4% and 6%. Let's say 4% first. And this is 6%. Right. What is the total amount for us? Total amount is $13,000. $13,000 and let us assume that he invests X amount here and Y there. Okay, so we'll say X here and Y here. Now on this, you get this is interest rate, right? So interest rate total earned is how much? Total earned is $1,700. You know, interest per annum is, what is the formula for interest per annum? Okay, that's important to know when you do these problems, right? So interest is interest rate times the amount times the time. So interest formula is I equals to P, the principal amount invested, rate of interest and time. This is a simple interest, okay. Time here is one year, so T is one for us. Rate is 4% and 6% respectively and P is the principal amount, which is total of this much split into X and Y, correct. Now, Let's try to write our equations. Equation number one, the total amount was 13,000, right? So, and he invested X and Y. So X plus Y should be 13,000. So that's our first equation. We say X plus Y equals to 13,000. And how do we use this equation? Convert one variable into other, correct? So we will convert that and we can write here, let's say Y equals to 13,000 minus x. Is it okay? No. Now what is the second equation? Second equation is interest. Total interest earned is $700. So that total interest earned is $700 here. And how much on each do we earn? 4% on x amount. 4% means 4 divided by 100 which is 0 0.04 of x. Is it okay? Plus 6% of y. So 6% of y is 0 0.06 of y. Correct. Now, we have got two variables in the second equation. We will use the first to substitute the value of y and get equation one variable. That's our strategy of solving linear equations, correct? So get 0 0.06 times, what is y? 13,000 minus x, correct? Now, simple, expand, simplify, and get your answer. So we get 0.04x plus 13,000 times 6. So 2, so we get rid of these two places. We are left 130 times 6. 
So 6 times 0, 0. 6 times 3, 18. 8, 1 there. 6 times 1, 6 and 1, 7. 7, 18. Minus 0.06x. Correct? Now, let's go further. 0 0.04 minus like terms. Combine the like terms, we get minus 0.02x plus 70. Is that okay? Now, so, <coughs> we'll take this terms to this side. So, what we will do, we'll take, this is negative, we'll bring x on this side. So, we'll write 0.02x is equals to 780 minus 700 which is equals to 80. Is that okay? So x is equals to how much? x is 80 divided by over 0 0.02. Correct? So when you do divide by 0 to it means like you can 80 100 by 2. 80 100 by 2 is 40 100. Do you see that? 40 100 means 4000 in this case. So we got x as 40, 100, 4000. Okay, that's funny. Now, once you find x, you have to find y also. Is that okay? Y is 13,000 minus 4. So we got x as 4000. And so y should be 13,000 minus 4000. Is it okay? 13 minus 4 is 9. So 9000. Okay. Now it's time to write on our answer. So answer is? You write the whole statement, okay? I'm not giving the whole statement, but I'm telling you the answer. Uday invested excess 4%. Remember that, 4,000 at the rate of 4%. So he invested 4,000. Let's use different ink. Dollars at the rate of 4%. And dollar 9,000 at the rate of 6%. Do you understand? for one year right to get or to earn interest of seven hundred dollars that year okay i think that makes sense now so try to understand how we did it so that you could do the next problem on your own next problem let's read it j invested dollar twenty seven hundred apart at eight percent per annum and the rest is ten percent per annum in one year, the two parts earned equal amounts of interest. How much did he invest at each? Okay, So, here we are not saying he invested it and earned so much interest. We say same amount they earned. Okay? So, diagram again is similar. Let's go through it because I want you to practice and get, get hold of it. Right Now, let's, let's try to do it again. Correct? Now, let's move the paper in front and try to do it. We will follow exactly the same procedure. So total amount is 2700. So we say 2700. In two places, this is our two places. Is it okay? Appreciate the method we do. Why am I using different things? Well, it's easy, it looks good. Yeah. So one is at 10%, the other one 8%. Okay, first thing first. Correct. Total amount was how much? 2700. We will write 2700 here. Now let's say we invest x here. Then how much will be here? You could write y and then x plus y is this much. And then you say y is this much minus x. What we will do straight. This is 2700 minus x. Is it okay? In this amount. Correct. Now we say interest earned is same. That means what should be our equation? What is the interest earned? P. So interest earned is P times R times T. And it is same. Same means x percent of 8. So we'll write 0 0.08 of x is equal to 0 0.10 of 2700 minus x. So that is our second equation. Do you understand? What was the first equation? Well, the first equation was x plus y is 2700. First equation was x plus y equals to 2700, right? And therefore y is 2700 minus x, which we wrote here straight. Do you understand? You could write straight, like I wrote. Correct? Perfect. It saves time and it's like obvious in many cases. So you can sometimes, even while doing linear system, do it like this. But well, if the question is show all the steps and write, then it is good to get write both the equations and then solve it. Okay? This is a simple statement. 
a linear equation one variable which you can solve yourself now when you find x then don't forget to find y y is 2700 minus x correct okay? sometimes it's a good practice to check the answer once you find that check do you get the same answer if yes then you write down your answer that the amount invested at 8% was this much and the amount invested at 10% was that much okay that should help thanks if there if you have any questions do let me know i'll be glad to answer them okay thank you have a good day